Hi, Sue Freeze here from E. coli termite and pest control. I have a question for you. Are you attracting rats to your home? You just might be. So today we're going to talk about what you could be doing that is attracting rats to your home. A little personal story. Being in the industry as long as I have been, I'm a little embarrassed. But I put dry dog food in the backyard for my dog, and I started to get a rodent problem, and I couldn't figure out why I had a rat problem. Here I am in the business, and I have a rat problem. And what I realized that I was producing the food for them. And so the minute I realized that, I picked up that dry dog food, I stuck it in a plastic container that is clipped shut, and that made those rats have to find another place to get their food. This might seem very obvious, but the smell of trash is an attractant to rats. They love the smell of trash. It's very important that we empty our trash on a regular basis, that we don't give them a nesting ground. And so your trash, you wanna make sure you pick up all your trash and you have it inside a trash can with a closed lid. So another thing to consider is cleaning up after the last infestation. If an infestation has been cleaned up and it's gone, you need to make sure that you've cleaned up after that. The smell is an attractant. They have pheromones and they are very cautious. And if they feel that there's been other rodents there, then they feel it's much more easy to move into that location. So you wanna make sure that all of that is cleaned up. So that means that you'd want to make sure there was no urine left behind, there's no droppings left behind, and if there was a nest, you want to make sure that nest is completely removed and any smell that is incurred there, you'd want to make sure that all of that is no more. We love our fruit trees, and so do the rats. So you want to make sure that your trees that are dropping their fruit, that you're picking up that fruit and making sure it's not accessible to those rats because they love the fruit as much as we do. Once you're sure that they're not eating the fruit that's on the ground, then you have to think and focus on the trunks of the trees because they could still have access to the fruit that's on your trees. So what you'd like to do there is you would want to have sheet metal or fencing of some kind, or there is a certain paint that you can put on the trunk of your tree and that will prevent the rats from getting their food from your fruit tree. And while we're outside, we also want to consider bird feeders because the bird seed, they love the bird seed. And so you want to make sure that the bird seed is not accessible to the rats either. So you want to make sure that the fruit trees, the fruit on the ground, and the bird seed is not available to the rats. And that will ensure that you're not leaving a food source outside your home for those rats. So what have we learned? We want to put our dog food in a plastic container. We want to make sure that trash is picked up and cleaned up. Any previous infestation, we want to make sure that it's cleaned up. And then we have the fruit trees and the fruit on the ground and the bird seed. Taking care of these things will help prevent rodents from infesting your home. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, I would really love it if you would like, share, and subscribe.